Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to add undo and redo shortcuts to any Android keyboard. Now even today, text input on smartphones leaves a lot to be desired. For instance, you screw something up while you're typing, and there's no undo or redo option, so you lose all your work. To top that off, the cut copy paste menu isn't available in a lot of input fields, so even the most basic functions are hit or miss. But thanks to a new app called Inputting Plus, we finally have a cure for some of these annoyances. Basically, the app detects when you're using your keyboard, then offers an easy shortcut to a richer text editor pop-up that gives you undo, redo, cut copy paste, and even find and replace functionality. There's two different shortcuts it offers. One is the notification, and the other is a floating bubble. And the way I see it, if you go with the floating bubble and just place it on your keyboard, it's a seamless experience. So to get this one going, start by installing Inputting Plus. It's available for free on the Google Play Store, so search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step one in my full tutorial. But when you first launch the app, you'll be greeted by a setup guide. Go ahead and swipe to the next page, and from here, you'll be prompted to enable the accessibility plugin. So press the settings button on this screen, then on the following menu, select the inputting plus option. From here, enable the accessibility plugin with the switch at the top of the screen, then press OK on the pop-up. When you're done with that, hit your back button a couple of times to head back to the app. Now this is where things start to get interesting. For starters, you can enable this inputting timeline option, and the app will keep a running log of all the things you've entered into text fields. If you go that route, you can add a pin for security, and you can set a limit on the history. But basically, it makes sure that you're always able to go back and re-enter something you've typed, which is great if you lose a long post or something like that. Then from there, I'd suggest switching this style option from notification to the more accessible floating bubble. That way, it can almost be integrated right into your keyboard. Once you've done that, you can tweak the appearance of the floating bubble, including options for size and color. Then beneath that, you can toggle options for the pop-up text editor, and they're all pretty helpful. But once you've got everything set up to your liking, you're ready to try out your new text editor. So anytime you select a text input field, basically anytime your keyboard comes up, you'll see that floating bubble. The bubble can be moved anywhere on your screen, and the app remembers its position. So for this, I'd suggest putting it on top of a useless button on your keyboard. For instance, the one that you long press to go to settings. Once you've done that, that little bubble will always be there when your keyboard is on the screen. That means that when you're typing something out and you need to make changes, all you have to do is tap this bubble to get a much better editing interface. Anything you've already typed will be queued up in the text editor automatically, so it's a seamless experience. Then of course, since it's a nice and big interface, you can use the system cut copy paste menu a lot easier, which isn't always available in every app. But then, aside from just being bigger and easier to manage, the text editor gives you undo, redo, and find and replace buttons right at the top of the screen, which is the best feature in my opinion. So once you've fixed up the text you were writing, all you have to do is tap the check mark at the bottom to paste the text back into that field where you started. Overall, it's a much nicer text input experience, and it's easy to access, but it doesn't get in your way either. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article on our new site at GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.